Now we've come to the part of our algebra course where we learn how to do formula problems. Formula problems can look complicated, but they're not. The trick to a formula problem is that you will be given numbers to replace all the letters in the formula except one. Once you plug the numbers in, you will only have one letter left, and it'll look like any of the other algebra equations that you've solved in this course. Plug all the numbers into their places, then solve with algebra to find the only remaining variable. In example one, it is negative eight degrees Celsius right now. What is the temperature in Fahrenheit? We're given the number negative eight, and it will go in the position of this C in the formula. So we write negative eight over five equals F minus 32 over nine. It's a proportion, top times bottom equals bottom times top. Negative eight times nine equals five times F minus 32. Now we simplify, negative eight times nine is negative 72. Five times F is five F, five times negative 32 is minus 160. Let's move the 160 to the other side. Negative 72 plus 160 equals 5F. Negative 72 plus 160 is equal to 88 equals 5F. Divide both sides by 5, and we get our answer, which is cancel, cancel. F equals 88 divided by 5 is 17.6. Because it is a temperature, you want to put degrees as the unit of measure, you finish the formula problem. In example two, we have A equals brackets, big B plus little b times H over two. We are given A equals 30, little b equals six, and big B equals nine in this diagram, and they are saying, what is H? So we replace the letters as all the numbers were given. 30 equals bracket. 9 plus 6, close bracket, times h over 2. Our unknown is h. It's the only thing that we don't know. Let's start simplifying. 30 equals 9 plus 6 is 15h over 2. Our 15h is being divided by 2, so let's multiply both sides of the equation by 2. These cancel. We end up with 60 equals 15h. We divide both sides of the equation by 15. Cancel, cancel. And we get our answer, h equals 60 divided by 15 is 4. The question didn't give the unit of measure. It might be centimeters, it might be inches. Since it didn't give us a unit of measure, we don't have to give a unit of measure in the answer. Or we can use the standby, standby and write four units. Using the word unit as a unit of measure is useful. This is how you do formula problems. All you have to do is replace all the letters in the formula except one, which is the unknown they're asking for with the numbers they give you, and then use the skills of algebra we've developed in this course to simplify and isolate that variable. If there's a unit of measure, don't forget to apply it, and you have an easy five marks or 10 marks. Now it's time to practice. Use the exercise sheet to do some formula problems, and then use the answer sheet to correct your own work.